We all dreamed privately and sweatily about committing dark deeds with the Yellow Peril. Dark was the word, for if you were seen with her, nice girls would shun you and tell their mothers. Their mothers would tell yours. The Yellow Peril was the enemy of mothers. And the fellas would jeer at you for your beggarman's lust, you with your fine words of settling for nothing less than Veronica Lake. We always set our sexual sights impossibly high. It preserved us from the stigma of attempt and failure on the one hand, and success and mortal sin on the other. The Yellow Peril never winked, smiled, or flirted, a sure sign of an activist. We avoided her, yet she was a comfort to us. It was like having a trusty flintlock handy in case of necessity. Didn't ask you to sit down. Free country. Nothing doing for you here. Never said there was. Not to have gone on with that friend of yours. What? You are. What for? Nothing doing for you here. Never said there was. What's your name anyway? Bruce. <laughs> yeah. Tis. Bruce. Hmm? Nice name. He's Oliver. That's so. He's from a town. Where are you from? Trinity College. That's right. English literature. Must be hard. Bits of it. Wouldn't Edward G. Robinson put him out of a monkey? Let's see. You know he does. One of them baboons. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Doesn't screw off. What? Me leg. You needn't think there's anything doing for you here. I don't. I don't know what you take me for. The sort of person who'd sit here and be felt with people passing. If you won't stop, let's go down the back. If you won't stop. All right. Wait till that old fella goes past. Who? Him. Not that you're getting anything. My silver-tongued eloquence had claimed its helpless victim. Defloration stared me in the face, my virginhood swung by a frayed thread. And then... Oh, says your L1 to my L1, will you come to the waxy star? Girl, says my L1 to your L1, sure I haven't got a farthing.